close automatically? I think, yes, the garage will close automatically. Here is a storage locker in the garage for unit C. And this says C right there. I think I have a code to get in that lock, so we'll do that in a minute. There it goes. So here's C. Maybe this is where... Thank you. See, I, ha I brought my assistant. Okay, I'm leaving my shoes on here because they're muddy. Okay, so here we go. Entryway closet. Regular size. 14 inch slate tile. Do not use lock on the door handle. Only we'll this one. There's Ann Parker right there. Um, this is for Lucinda, by the way. Say hi. Hi. So here's a bunk room. Super cute artwork right there that I bet you came from the same place where I got the kids. Lazy Susan thing. Yeah. Um, there's a closet. That's a king size bunk. Mm -hmm. Queen? Queen size. Queen size below and twin above. And a TV. Um, so, good size space in this room. Enough for a gigantic poof at this end. And then bathroom is connected to the room and also that away, which I guess is something like Jack and Jill. These are like um, mm, some kind of marble or terrazzo or I don't know what you call that stone, but it's everywhere. Pretty lovely brass fixture. I think you must keep that greenery because Merry here you are in the mountains. That's the theme. Second bedroom. This this unit's all on one level. This one has its own bathroom as well. Bathroom with a giant walk-in. Like, I don't know what I would do with myself if I had a closet this big. And it's not even the biggest closet I've ever seen, but it is pretty large. Ooh. Okay. And then, what's in there? Linens. Linens. And then... Maybe that washer dryer, yeah. Toilet paper. It's a good size closet for, I mean, it's a typical washer dryer closet. Might be better to put a bar door right there that went that away just to oh, keep this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Sports divider. It's that uh, that's really though. cool, but it's made it's into a blanket. a blanket. It's cute. You think it comes with a place? I don't know. Probably I think not. it's furnished, but I'm not sure. Okay, so then kitchen. I mean, it really is. This is just quite good. Gas. It's huge. This kitchen is massive. GE profile. Let's see if it's clean. Pretty darn clean. This part, not so much, but whatever. We can fix that. Another big pantry. So there was linen closet this size on the back side of this wall on that end down there. And we have a big island sink, double fold sink, profile dishwasher. This is your granite, big old slab. And then here's the primary bedroom. That is a king bed. And 
a television in an armoire, which no one does anymore. But I even had a guy tell me once that's why he was selling. Because he wanted more modern. So king size bed, and now this window faces east. So historic park is right there. Just go historic park over that away. So granite is out on this side, and Maine is on this side, and this is due east. And that is a massive patio out there. We'll go there in a minute. The carpet is pretty regular, and there are places where it looks like it's pretty in decent shape, but it, it has a wear pattern a little bit. Then you have your double, his and hers, uh, one, one and two, and a big old soaker tub. Wait, you're standing in the shot there, honey. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, this is good. So I typically don't like this setup where there's a bathtub. I mean, who cares what I like, but um, this is a good size bathtub. It's really deep. But it's not taking up a, the entirety of the bathroom. <laughs> nice glass enclosed shower. More greenery in case you're in the mood for Christmas all the time. And then there's this massive, massive. Okay, I say that it's a regular size walk-in closet, but it's beautifully finished with all built-in storage solutions. Mm -hmm. And a girl. You have to stay in here. <laughs> okay, so we've seen three bedrooms and a kitchen. we got to find... Let's focus on the living room here real quick. So, beautiful stone hearth. That's going to be a gas stove, most likely. There's the east. This is all east, 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 and this it continues on on that side. Um... Yeah, yeah, that off. would that would be it. Did it go on? No, I think the pilot light is off. Probably not. That's almost never the case. But there could be a thermostat saying, "Hey, it's already hot in here. I'm not going to turn on until it's not hot anymore." Um, okay, so you have a dining room. With this is set up for six people, but the room itself is plenty big enough for a bigger table. If you wanted to have a bigger table, it could come. I mean, without this buffet being right here, you could have a table twice that big, potentially, if you wanted. This piece of furniture is actually pretty cool, and I can tell you right now that it came from iFurnish because that brand is everywhere we go. Oh, That's look really at that. Cute. That is really cute. You are here. Huge you could make one of those, Anne. You need a cry cut, a cricket. So now, this might be the best thing ever. This deck looks over the back of Historic Park. You would get on a nice clear day, Grays and Tories right through there. Williams Fork down that way. The community gardens, storage facility. I'm not sure, or is that what this is? Oh no, you know what these are? These are the planter boxes for Main Street. So this, this is where Town of Frisco stores their planter boxes all winter. In a normal winter, they'd be buried, but anyway, so maybe that's not as cool, but it's not the worst thing. And then there's Anne way down there. So this one, this is, this is probably three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 36, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 50 feet of deck. And here's the master. This is I the primary. Primary, excuse me. If you could cut this out and have front door. Oh, you, you could. That's it. I'm guessing you just could if oh. you wanted to. There's water out here. There's the vent for the gas fireplace. So I wanted to figure out, it's a big circle plan. Um, we didn't come this way before. This is the entry hall. Oh, and it's locked. And I'm guessing this is a big coat closet or storage, of, you know, quite a bit of storage right there, two double doors. This is that first bedroom we saw. So that bedroom has two exits, like you can go through there to the, the way we went actually. I want to 
bathroom. That closet is like this deep. That storage closet. Yeah, the yeah, she's right because the wall, the back wall of the uh, tub is there, and then there's that much more space for that storage closet. But you can go in this room from there and out of this room from here and be in the living room. So why why would you want to do that? Close the door to the entry and come in this way, or I don't know, it's kind of convenient. Anyway, this place is fantastic. I will send this video to you and then we can chat. Bye. Bye.